What's going on everyone? As many of you may know, today AMD released FSR3 frame generation for Forspoken and Immortals of Avium. So instead of making the same video that a lot of people are, seem to be making, I figured I would check out the beta driver AMD released for their AMD Fluid Motion Frame technology, which is basically their driver based FSR3 frame generation that is supposed to work on any DX11 and 12 game. It's also exclusive to Radeon 7000 cards only, and it will officially launch early 2024. What we're going to look at first is how you enable this. And to enable it, you have to go to your Radeon software and then go to the gaming and then choose the particular game you want to enable fluid motion frames on. Alternatively, you can enable HyperRx, and I think that will also enable it. I'm not a big fan of HyperRx. It's cool for, for people that just want to toggle on. I, I just don't really write, like Radeon Super Resolution or uh, Radeon Boost. I'm not a big fan of it. But enabling fluid motion frame here on the driver, it will also enable anti-lag, obviously, because this creates quite a bit of lag. But let's jump on Cyberpunk and see kind of how it works with a bit of path tracing. This is the settings that we're using in the game. We're doing FSR quality with path tracing enabled. And we're only running, we're only getting 30 frames here at 1440p. Now you'll notice that there's two metric overlays. There's the Reva Tuner statistics on the top and then the AMD metrics overlay on the bottom. The reason why is because Reva Tuner statistics server does not pick up on the quote-unquote fake frames that are being generated it's that's being shown at the bottom so it's essentially doubling the frame rate the reason why is the driver is generating the extra frames independent of the game engine so unlike fsr3 and dlss3 frame generation that are integrated into the game this one doesn't work like that so naturally it's not going to be as good obviously it's going to have a bit more latency uh it's it's going to have more artifact and and stuff like that which which you can definitely see here almost looks like screen tearing if you're moving very fast but if you sit still and things kind of move at a, at a steady pace it doesn't doesn't look that bad actually let's see if we can claw some more performance back though we'll uh, drop fsr to balance here see if we can get some more frames because the fact that we're running at such lower frame rate it's also exposing the flaws of this type of technology which even with frame generation dlss3 and probably fsr3 i've yet to look at it in detail but fsr3 looks looks to be pretty good very comparable to frame generation from what i've seen uh, but yeah i mean you don't want to begin at these very low frame rates for example like if you were to drive very fast you're gonna see the ghost thing behind the car as you can see here and things in the distance are going to look blurrier and that sort of thing so but what we're going to do next is we're going to leave path tracing behind and we're just going to go with psycho ray tracing and check out how things look in motion now that we have a bit higher frame rate it actually does look a bit better and i'm not sure how it's going to show up on the recording but there is still that almost like that relic malfunctioning effects where where things sort of, it almost looks like there's screen tearing with certain objects like ladders or letters on the screen now i don't know if that's coming through in the recording but here's what it would look like without motion fluid motion frame and side by side next to one another It is pretty cool that the driver is able to essentially double our frame rate no as what? far as motion fluidity goes. Really so as long as you're moving sort of steady and not making any fast sudden movements, it actually looks pretty good. I can see people people hey, playing it this way, uh, although it does introduce a bit of latency, but it's not it's not too bad, I would say. But there is uh, parts where it actually works pretty well. So this next part, it's going to be a cinematic part of a mission with V in a motel. Here's our settings for this next part. And 
I did this mission last night on my 4090 and it looks so good with path tracing that I tried to enable it here, but I had to go with Psycho uh, instead, which actually still looks very, very good. Um, it's just that enabling path tracing here made it look extremely dark for some reason. It, it didn't look right. So I don't know if it's the beta drivers or what, but we went with ultra ray tracing instead. But this is a scenario where this type of technology actually works pretty good. We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? Johnny? Yeah? Shut your gonk mouth, please. Saying random shit ain't gonna help anyone. How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying out- Now we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. Well, here you have it, guys. I, I hope you like this video. I'll let the rest of this play out. But if you're interested in this and want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link to the beta drivers down below. Just remember that it is a beta driver, so there could be issues like my overclocking issue. When, when I enabled my overclocking profile, which I know is 100% stable, it ended up crashing the driver. So be mindful of that. But other than that, have fun. And thanks for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you guys later. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. I know you're... Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knocked the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message... Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already, is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Makoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure.